Hello everyone, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some Project Zomboid, shall we? Pick it up where we left off in our Complete Beginner's Guide, and... Well, I've been getting some just incredible advice. And one of those tips was from a viewer about how to get a generator in this area, and I'm so glad for it. Thank you so much. I love learning from all of you. Uh... And trying to demonstrate that knowledge in my incorrect and haphazard way, incompetent way, in the video. So, I'm going to take this car out. I got some broccoli to eat. I put the shotgun in the back so that I'm not as encumbered. And I'm going to roll out. It's a little foggy. But I'm going to try to get some more gas. Fill this baby up at the gas station. But we can't do that unless we have a generator. So... We have enough gas to poke around. Now there's a post... Let's see here. Oh man, it's so foggy. Here's my old car, which is amazing. We'll leave you here. We'll come back for you. Now, there's a garden shed, I believe. So I'm just going to kind of look at the map. Pause the game. If you look at the map, there's this hotel right here. Um... And I don't know what this is, like the senior center. It's, it's kind of school. It's a weird. Maybe it's like a K through 12, you know, school with a preschool built in or something. But we're going to kind of head up this way and p look around for a factory and a garden shed. I know there's another construction site maybe up in this region, if I'm remembering correctly. We'll just, we'll just see what we can find. Now, there's a bunch of zombies, obviously, roaming around. We're going to kind of just push on beyond them. There's Jimmy's. There's a... Actually, there's a bookshop. I think I went in there. You know what? Uh, okay. For some reason, I don't... <laughs> I don't have my pitchfork. Here it is. Um, Alright. Okay. Okay, there's a lot of zombies here. Oh, that's cool. There's some cool stuff over here. Alright. One... This is a little too much. I don't mind fighting zombies, but I need to check on my fork. Uh, the condition is about halfway. Okay. Let me run down here. This might be a situation where I have to just run through some zombies. It happens. So is this smart? No. Is this funny? Yes. Uh, there's getting to be too many. I don't know when the car stops working, like how this all plays out.
All right, so what I want now would be a few zombies. That wasn't enough. Better. I want to just uh, get them all together so we can have a good, you know, little party. Better. There's a lot of crawlers. We have a lot more crawlies than I anticipated. Like we're doing okay. Like we're killing some. Getting a little hungry. That's not good. Back to the stop sign again. Alright. So one thing we gotta do is make them count. Aiming up. Oh boy. Maybe I'm out of bullets. No, 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 I'm not. I just was interrupting it. Close to being out of bullets, though. Oh no. Alright, that's the end of the bullets. Okay. We're pick picking up speed. Hopefully that's most of the crawlers. Well, that guy's got a shotgun on his back or something. Oh boy. A little bit of damage to the old front here.
There's a lot of zombies here. Stop sign finally hit. Okay. That was pretty good. To do to do. I'm just going to eat some broccoli and survey the damages here to the uh, bad guys. And I think we did a really good job. My garden fork is actually reasonable durability for where we're at. I know there was somebody who had a gun. At least I thought I saw that. Cologne. Boy, that was a pretty impressive massacre. It's all in a day's work. You know what I mean? Leather jacket is good. Oh, there it was. Police. They did have a shotgun. Um, I think that's a good shotgun, actually. And it had four shells in it, which is kind of nice. All right. Anyway, though, I need a, a weapon equipped. Let's check the fudge shop. Let's see what they've got in here. I've been living off of broccoli pretty nonstop. Oh, I always... That's the jewelers. I need the fudge. Um, now, I want to remove the broken glass, but I don't know how easily I can do that without... Like, I can't remember what you have to have. A rag or something like that. I need a hammer uh, to get through the door. Usually I have a hammer. I'm surprised that I don't, I'm not carrying one. It's fine, though. We can go in the medical place, see what they got. All right, painkillers, vitamins. Man, look at this place. Ooh. They got soda. They got pop. This place is incredible. Okay, so one thing you got to do is just make sure there's no baddies. Wow. Okay. 
so we're going to be just taking pretty much everything for medical reasons. I mean, this might be a lifetime of medical supplies. Now, I gotta be careful. Is there somebody in here? I hear somebody banging. Uh, loot all. See, but if I put pick loot all, maybe I have to have, you know, the other things selected. I think I have to have my backpack selected. Let's try it. Backpack selected. Loot all. You gonna put it in my backpack? You are. Wonderful. Backpack full. So what we need to do is find a dead person in here who has the key. Or just find the key lying around. To get back into the warehouse or whatever. I got a bunch of rotten food too. This is nice. money I mean you know it's like did any of you work at this shop I don't know I wish it's hard to tell I killed so many just so so many Um, okay. Alright, so I'm going to open up the back here. And I'm just going to drop out, like... Whoa, that was not what I meant to do. That's supposed to go on this. In here, I'm going to get all the first aid. Now, what are you doing? Ah! There you go. I must be clicking something that I... I'm just trying to transfer it all. There you go. Yeah, this shotgun does take six shells, which is pretty sweet. Okay. So, it is worth looking like, okay, what do we have over here? We have a furniture shop. Um, we have that guy. Uh, what is this little shop here? Can I remove the broken glass without getting hurt? It looks like I can. Oh, it's like a school or something. It's a toy shop. Okay. So they have a bunch of toys. Well, not quite what we look, we're looking for. Amusing, but not really interesting. Looks like an, a bank or an accountant. You know, office, something. This place looks cool. Alright. Um, just going to kind of remove the broken glass and see what's going on in here. What do they have? Oh, it's another toy place. There's just too many toy shops. Alright. It's okay. We got a guy coming over here. Someone wanted to say hi. It's understandable. Can I repair... Um, oh, I hear something. Yeah, okay. This guy finally decided to join the party. 
Can I repair my pitchfork at all? Nah, I don't have any stuff. Okay. So here's the bookshop, which I am really interested in. But is this a bookshop or is this a publisher's office? Maybe I'm in the wrong I'm in the wrong place. Oh, I'm thirsty. There's water back here. We got water. Yeah, that might be the travel agency, and I just went into the wrong place. Okay. Here we go. Look at this. If I ever needed books of any kind, this is it. I'm going to make sure there's nobody in here really fast. So I am looking just, you know, sometimes uh, we got how to use generators here. Got some hunting magazines. Okay. Yeah, I mean, probably have all this stuff. Performance models unread. Okay. Well. All right, all right. Farming one, farming two. Okay. So I think what we do here is we just mark this. We just say, all right. We can just kind of make a little mark right where I'm at. Oh, I already did mark it. Well, good for me. Uh, when you've been playing like the same save file for months, it's sometimes hard to remember everything that you have and haven't done. This baby still goes, which I should be proud of. All right, so I'm going to keep going for a little bit. By the big hotel. Actually, here's the hardware shop. Let me turn off. Let me make sure I got everything that I want from the hardware shop. Oh, okay. I attracted a lot more attention than I was expecting. Okay. Popular guy. They went over there. They were like, I'm done. Now, the main reason I'm going to the hardware store is I want to repair my fork, see if there's more forks, all of that. Are they following me? Spitfire fashion. Here's nails and nuts. It's always well guarded. Oh, I just pushed that person and they died. Alright. Okay, that was not cool. Oh, interesting. I'm getting hungry.
is always tough to make it to this hardware store. They know what they're guarding. Alright. What do we got? Tire pump. Rake. Hammer. Screwdriver. Saw. Rake. Okay, what's over here? Rake. Screwdriver. Alright. Dork coming in. Behind the desk, you got anything? I got boots. What kind of boots do I have? My boots are actually in terrible condition, so I'm going to wear these and just drop mine. A rope is okay. Metal sheet, nice. It's a garden hoe. Jeans, denim shirt, yeah, nice. They do have some planks. Man, I've really, really looted this place. I thought maybe I didn't have, you know, sometimes you just don't have enough space and you leave some stuff behind. There is the propane torch. I could have come here to get that. There's a regular hammer, which I'll um, just attach to my belt. I usually carry this. I don't know why I'm not. It's a nice backup. Nothing in these tool chests. These are just like if I want to take them back to my base for decorative purposes, which is kind of cool. All right. I'm getting tired. Very tired. All right. I was going to say, maybe I did so much damage to this bad boy that it doesn't want to work anymore, but it's okay. That maneuver right there in the intersection on... Just an incredible turning radius on this vehicle. Oh, okay, please don't hit your own car. There you go. Well, I wanted to go get a generator, and I ended up just leveling the streets. Oh, look at this car. It's up on one wheel. It's about to uh, not be a thing anymore, but it's done such good work for us. We... <laughs> We just were having fun driving over zombies, using a shotgun, garden fork. I mean, just a nice day of tidying up the streets, being a vigilante. And we made it. We're back home. Plenty of gas to spare, too. All right, everybody. Well, that was sweet. We had a great time. I need to repair this garden fork. But we're rocking and rolling in those crops I didn't water. Well, Mother Nature came in and did that for us. I hope you all are enjoying this series like I am still. And thank you so much for continuing to share all of your advice that just helps me understand this game more and more. As we get into portions that are deeper and deeper than I've ever gone. And I'm having a great time. I hope you all have an excellent evening or day. Thank you so much. I'll check you in the next one. Take care.